Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. If you've seen any of my videos before, you'd know that I like a little bit of grit, a little bit of dirt on my clean sound. Now, with the Boss Katana, even though I think the Boss Katana really excels, especially with single coils, single coils, because of the nature of them, they're normally lower output than, say, humbuckers. So with the clean sound, which is my favorite channel inside the Boss Katana, sometimes it's hard just to get that little bit of dirt on your clean sound. So what I'm gonna to do today is to show you how to do that. Now, the sound that I've dialed in is this. Which to my ears is a really nice clean sound. Now, for me, it's still a little bit clean. Inside the booster section, inside the Boss Katana, you've got a treble booster. I don't normally like treble boosters because it is what it says, it boosts the treble. And for me, sometimes treble boosters can be a little bit harsh, especially with single coils. But with the treble booster inside the Boss Katana, you can really shape the sound of it because you've got a tone control. So here's the sound we're starting with. And if you wanna find the treble booster inside the booster sections, it's the second one down. Okay, let's switch it in. Take it out. Now already it's given it that little bit of extra. But now let's dial it in just so it suits this guitar a little bit more. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is to actually drive the circuit. So let's turn it up. Now we're bringing in the drive of the treble booster. It's starting to bring in that overly trebly sort of sound. So let's dial back the tone a bit. Because we've boosted the gain, you'll see that there's a massive difference in the level where we've got the treble booster switched in and out. So let's turn it off and bring it in. I don't want to be boosting the level going into the front of the amp, so I'm going to bring this back. Now, if I turn off the booster and bring it in, you'll see that they're more or less matched, but the guitar signal has that little bit of dirt on it. Now I think we could do with a little boost, just a small boost on the bottom end. Now when you are adjusting all these controls, even the smallest amount really makes a difference. So let's just boost that by about two. If you're gonna be using the Boss Katana Live, I'd highly recommend grabbing one of these Boss JFC foot controllers. That's what you can do is really control the individual elements inside these patches. So what I'm gonna do here is to turn up the solo level to 100%. Now that's gonna give me a solo boost when I click on the solo button on the JFC. And if I bring in the boost, If you've never used a treble booster or you're not a fan of treble boosters, I really recommend trying the one inside the Boss Katana as you can really shape the sound and you don't get that overly trebly guitar sound that you do with normal treble boosters. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.